Google just quietly launched a tool that makes creating and editing professional videos as easy as making a slide deck. If you've ever needed to make a video for work and thought, I don't have the time, the skill or the budget for that, then this video will change everything for you. What is Google Vids? Google Vids is the new AI powered video creation app from Google, which is now available as part of Google Workspace. Simply give it a prompt or link a Google Doc and its AI assistant will instantly generate a full storyboard. It will write a script. It will add a polished AI generated voiceover. And there are a lot of interesting things that you can do with it. You know what? Let's get into the tool and have a deeper understanding of it. All right. To get into Wits, you just type wits.google.com and then you can get into here. So you sign into Wit and you will be in this particular landing page. Now, you will start with a new video and you click on that plus sign. Think of this as your creative launch pad for your video, right? Each one of these tiles are nothing but individual launch pad for you to go ahead and create your video. So the first one that you're seeing over here is Wayo 3. Wayo 3 is Google's video generation model. So you could actually use that to create an eight second video clip and directly start the video. Then you're seeing AI avatar. Google Wits also has this capability where you can write a particular script, select the avatar of your choice, and then the avatar would speak exactly what you have written in the script. You can, of course, record yourself, also share your screen and we make that as part of the video. You can upload your existing videos or drive or photos as part of this. You can also convert your slides into videos as part of this. And then they have some beautiful templates already available, right? For example, I selected, let's say, podcast teaser. So you can see that these are all the different scenes which are available and I can click on insert all scenes and boom, I already have a base to start. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first take you through some of the AI related ones. For example, the one I actually love the most is Storyboard. Now in this one, you could actually ask it to create a video completely based on the its knowledge, which is the large language models knowledge. So for example, I say that create a video on Google Vids. So here I'm not even providing any document or any reference. I've just written like one simple prompt. And then what it's going to do is based on the knowledge, it's going to create an outline for the video, right? So you can say that what is Google Wits? Who is it for? Key features, AI powered video creation, easy to use interface. So it's really interesting. What I can do is instead of doing this, I'm going to say that based on at the rate, and then I can pull up any kind of document that I've created before. So I wrote a document around vector databases, which is a special type of database generally used for large language models. So it's going to read through that document and then based on the document, create this video outline for me. Right. So you can see introduction, vector databases, you know, what we will cover in this video, why, etc. So when I click on next, it's giving me a design. Remember the templates that I discussed before. So it has kind of brought everything together. So let's say that I want to select something like this, which is, you know, more clean and simple i click on this and then these are the different placeholders for for the overall design right so when i click on create the video now what it's going to do is based on the document that i've uploaded and based on the design that i've selected it's going to create an to end video along with transitions multiple scenes as well as some music uh, sprinkled out there right so that is that is what it's going to create and by the time i didn't even finish speaking it has already done that just a quick walkthrough of the interface here right so below what you're seeing is really your timeline so you can see that these are the different elements this is the the overall sort of music and then these are sounds for each individual scenes so basically this is like your overall kind of timeline on the right hand side you have all of these interesting features which i'm going to cover pretty quickly let's go through this what it has created first probably heard about vector data they've absolutely exploded with companies raising hundreds of millions of dollars to build they're being called a new kind of database for the ai era so what's the real story in this video we're going to break it all down in a beginner form 
We'll cover what a vector database is, how it actually okay. works. So you can already see that there are multiple scenes and each scene has a different kind of audio and video. Now what you can do is you can select a particular scene and then start making changes just like the way you would actually make a change in a slide, right? Or on, on a Google slide. So let's say I actually want to have an avatar speaking here. So instead of just a voiceover, so I can select an avatar from all of these different options out there. The voice you select makes a difference in voice you select makes a difference in how the voice you select makes a difference in how viewers will respond. The voice you select makes a difference in how you the voice So let's say I selected Emilia and then I'm gonna change hi. Welcome to this video on vector databases. My name is Surya and I am going to take you through this. Welcome to this video on Vector Databases. My name is Surya and I am going to take you through this. Okay, now you would have noticed that the lip syncing will happen after rendering. So let's actually create the rendering here. And then once the rendering is finished, we will insert it into the first kind of slide or first scene, right? One way to do that is why I do like AI avatars where you're not using really your face. The other way to do this would be to record your, yourself and as part of it you can actually include that right so while it is rendering let me take you through some of the other options over there you can also look into stock which is where you can look into a lot of different videos so for example if i search for databases these are the different options I have a lot of videos available for me so i can go ahead and select that and it directly comes here so let's say i didn't really like this and i i actually want to have have this one so i can actually include this so you can see that you have all of those stock options and stuff like that, right? All right. Looks like it has rendered. Let's see. I need it works for an eye of the Okay. So you can see that it is speaking like the avatar is speaking as well as this. So what we will do is we will ensure that only the avatar is speaking. Look at, look at this. So this is the sound, right? So you can see here, you can mute it and then let's see. Welcome to this video on Vector Databases. So you can see now that I can kind of position this and also change it in a way I like it and then listen to it. Yes, Surya, and I am going to take you through this. So I have the capability to, you know, decrease the duration of the overall scene so that it fits. Welcome to this video on Vector Databases. My name is Surya and I am going to take you through this. So that, that is pretty interesting. Now, some of the other things that you can do is you can obviously play with the transition. There, there are all of these different transition elements out there, which you can go ahead and change. You also have the capability to change the script at any point in time. So this is the second scene. This is what it is saying. So you can go ahead and change that scene as well. And at any point in time, let's say you want to upload let's say this particular image from your workspace, you can actually like add that over here because it's all interconnected. So it gives you that, that interesting element. You can add a text. So let's say that you want to add this particular headline and don't want that intro. And I want, just want this particular headline. So you can do that as well. So I'm going to say that introduction. And it's as easy as working on a slide deck, right? On a Google slide. So now you see that I've changed it and stuff like that. And then of course you have all of these different options to add different shapes, call out equations and stuff like that. You will see these are all available. And then at any point in time, you want to change the template of a particular scene. You could go ahead and do that as well, right? Now, lastly, let's say that you want to add a Veo video here, right? You can say that as an example, right? A medium close-up of a CEO in a tailored Navy suit. So let me just put it over here and it will generate something, right? So what I did in the beginning was I started with a, you know, the AI generated script. What you can do is you can go ahead and completely do, completely start from blank, right? So I'm here and this is where I can start recording myself. These are the different options out there. Or as I said before, you can start with an avatar or you can just add your script. And then while you're adding a script, you can actually record yourself. You can also generate the voiceover just based on the script as well. So this is how you would basically start from scratch, right? The other option that you also have is you can upload an existing slide. So let's say that I'm going to take any of the existing slides. Let's say that I have this particular slide, which I made a video long back. So these are 18 slides that I have. 
what it would do is it would actually convert that slide in the video format and then in in each one of these these will be converted as a scene right so what i can do is i can then add like an avatar which is speaking about this over here ai leverage pyramid i will generate this and then i will add that avatar as part of this particular slide right and then i will go to scene number two and then i can either again record myself um, and type in what I want it to see and then it will say what I want it to say as part of the script, right? So you can see how easy it is to generate a video either through an AI generated overall script just using a simple prompt and I also showed you that you can use its knowledge to generate the end-to-end -end script or use a document to generate the script. The other option is you can upload an existing document as I just did here to generate it. And the third option is you do it from the scratch, right? But you can clearly see that Google Wits makes it really easy for anyone who is actually not a professional video editor to make a video, right? So you can see that now, now it has been added. So here, if I add this as part of this, it, it will talk, it will say that. So you can already see that. Now, once you're done, you can then export it directly to Drive or you can go ahead and also share it with others as well. So these are all the different options. You can also download this as MP4. So that in a nutshell is Google Wits. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any thoughts or comments, please let me know in the comment section below and please do and subscribe and share it with your friends. Thank you very much.